Hello friends, welcome back to tutorials in English literature. Today's video is going to be a very exciting one because in today's lesson I am going to start the discussion of the intricate plot of Onfield's masterpiece The Way of the World. I have planned to discuss in today's lesson the plot of the first act. But before beginning the discussion of the first act, I have to mention some important events that have already taken place in the lives of the main characters of this play before the play begins. So the first incident is that Mrs. Arabella Fennell, who is known throughout the play as Mrs. Fennell, was married to a rich man named Languis, who died and left his fortune to her. After his death, Mrs. Fennell, that means Arabella, started an affair with Edward Mirabel, the protagonist of the play. They ended the affair before Mrs. Fennell was married to Mr. Fennell. Mirabel himself selected Mr. Fennell as her husband because they were afraid that they might produce a child out of the wedlock. So to hide a scandal, Mrs. Fennell married Mr. Fennell. Conrad has not mentioned the reason why Mirabel himself has not married Mrs. Fennell. After that incident, Mirabel started to court Milamet, who was Mrs. Fennell's cousin and who lives with her guardian Lady Wisford. So to hide his own advancement towards Milamet and to please her guardian Lady Wisford, Mirabel started to flirt with Lady Wisford. He gave her a lot of attention and that created a misunderstanding. Lady Wisford started to believe that Mirabel loved her and she was ready to marry him. But at that point, Mrs. Marut, who was Lady Wisford's friend, disclosed the fact that Mirabel in reality loved Milament and that enrages Lady Wisford. Her feelings of love changed into hatred and she was determined that she would never allow Milament to marry Mirabel. And a large part of Milamant's dowry, which is six thousand pound, depends upon Lady Wisford's permission. If Milamant marries against her will, she will lose that hefty dowry. So it's a problem for both Mirabel and Milamant. At the meantime, Mr. Fennell has been having an affair with Mrs. Marut. Mirabel had some knowledge about this affair. Before the day on which the play opens, Mirabel has visited Lady Wisford's house for the first time since she discovered Mirabel's attraction for Milamant. But Lady Wisford unceremoniously dismisses Mirabel from her house before Milamant, who 
does not stand by mirabel and even there were members of the cavals the cavals knight the small club for scandal so mirabel is humiliated and he has now started to plan a plot a scheme through which he will be able to coerce to compel lady wishford to give him the permission to marry milamet so the play opens in this situation the act 1 takes place in a chocolate house where we find mirabel fenel and two fops witut and petulant so the act 1 scene 1 that means the opening scene of the play begins at a chocolate house and the time is midday fenel and mirabel are playing cards and fenel discovered that mirabel's mind is preoccupied with something so fenel asks mirabel why he is upset mirabel replies that the last night he visited lady wishford's house and she uh, did not allow him in her house before the members of the cabal party so that a great shame for mirabel and for that reason mirabel is deserted he is deserted also for that milament did not say anything in support of mirabel fenol blames that it is mirabel's fault because mirabel once flattered lady wishford to win her permission for marriage and that created a great problem for mirabel so it is mirabel's fault so mirabel does not accept the charge and he claims that it is mrs marut who has informed lady wishford about this affair and that is why he is suffering and he also hints that mr fenol is more than a friend with mrs marut fenol ignores his charge of affair with mrs marut and he is now more interested to know the motives of mrs marut behind her role in uncovering the secret affair of mirabel with milabent mirabel replies that he is unaware of the sudden enmity of mrs marut against him because he has no relationship with mrs marut but fenol is anxious that his mistress mrs marut had some relationship with mirabel and that is why she feels jealous and informs lady wishford about mirabel's love for milament so fenol is urit that her paramour her lover mrs fenol can betray him after that their conversation becomes uh enmical they no more remains friendly to each other and after that mr fenol invites mirabel to visit witut and petulant who are lounging in an adjoining room in the same chocolate house when mirabel refuses to go mr fenol alone leaves the stage 
So after that the second scene begins and in that scene we see that a messenger arrives and informs Mirabel that the secret marriage that he has planned has taken place and he also provides Mirabel with the marriage certificate and he also informed Mirabel that the suit, the new dress that he has ordered is now ready. So this is the beginning of the development of Mirabel's secret plan. Mirabel has secretly hatched a plan of marriage between his servant Waitwell and Lady Whisper servant Foyabu. And after that, he will send Waitwell as his fictitious uncle Sir Roland to court Lady Whisper so that he can trap Lady Whisper in a scandal and then coerce her, compel her to give permission. And the new dress is for that plot. So here Mirabel appears as a great schemer. In the next scene, Mr. Fennell enters again into the stage and he discovers that Mirabel's mood has been improved. When he asks Mirabel the reason, Mirabel does not disclose any fact. And he only mentions that he is happy because tonight is not a cabal's night. That means in that night there is no party at Lady Wisford's house where the ladies and the gentlemen gather to discuss scandals, rumors about the people of the town. Then Mirabel asks Mr. Fennell whether he will allow Mrs. Fennell to attend the cabal's night. Fennell replies that he is not jealous because the ladies who attend the cabal's night are mostly his relatives like Milamant and the men who are present at the cabal's night are pathetic fools like Wetoot and Petroant. Then Mirabel comments that scandals spreads when ladies give company to fools. So Fenol now start to tease Mirabel that perhaps Mirabel is feeling jealous. Mirabel is jealous because Milament passes time with Wetoot and Petroant. Then Mirabel expresses his love for Milament. He tells Fenol that he loves Milamant's entirely. He loves Milamant's charms and her shortcomings. She is a beautiful belle, but at the same time she has some faults. So Mirabel loves Milamant knowing all her faults. So his love is very matured. Then Fennel advises him to marry her because that will end his charm, his illusion according to Mr. Fennel. Fennel also advises Mirabel that after marriage he has to concentrate more on his wife's faults if he wants to continue his freedom. So from that discussion we can understand that Mr. Fennel is a cynic. He is pessimistic about the institution of marriage. In the next scene, that means fourth scene, we find that a messenger arrives and informs that he has arrived there to deliver a letter from Sir Wilful Witoot to his brother Witoot. It's a small scene. In the next scene, that means fifth scene, act one, scene five, we find that Mr. Fennell and Mirabel are discussing about the character of Sir Wilful Wilfoot. They are criticizing Wilful, Sir Wilful, 
because he is now 40 years old and now he wants to make a continental tour who is generally the gentleman makes at their early age when they are coming of age for educational purpose so they now think that it's a wrong decision from sir wilful after that mirabel comes to know from fenon that sir wilful witwood is a relative of milament he is nephew of lady wisfort but still mirabel is ready to be a relative of the country bumpkin the unfashionable sir wilful witwood by marrying milament and it reminds us the proverb that you cannot choose your family you can choose your friend but you cannot choose your family and we also realizes that mirabel is really ready to accept all the shortcomings of milament then we find that fenon comments that sir wilful is a kind hearted good humored simple sweet man he may not have the fashionable charm he may be an ignorant of the etiquette of fashionable aristocratic london society but he is a man with a golden heart and mirabel also comments that this man is a fool with a good memory and this man lacks wit and that makes him a kind hearted man so this is act 1 scene 5 in the next scene that means act 1 scene 6 we find that we toot now enter the stage so we toot now tells that sir wilful is only his half brother and he is not looking forward to meet him because we toot hates his brother because he is not fashionable he is not civilized enough to meet the gentleman like mr fenol or mirabel that is why he is assumed of his brother so then the conversation moves toward the character of petulant at first mirabel and fenol try to excite we to try to make him angry about his friend petulant so that we to bring out we to discloses some secret about petulant's character so when mirabel tells that petulant is incompetent to tell lies properly because he lacks wit because he lacks vocabulary then we to replies that petulant is a great liar he never tells truth so here the sixth scene ends in the next scene that mean act 1 scene 7 a carriage appears at the chocolate house with three women in the coach and a coachman comes to the chocolate house and asks for petulant in the next scene that means act 1 scene 8 we to explains that these three women who were searching for petulant are actually hired by petulant because petulant wants to show these three actresses as his lovers so that other gentlemen and ladies regard him as a fashionable wreck as a promiscuous man who is more desirable so in this way petulant wants to be popular among the ladies it's a trick of him so it suggests that petulant is wanting to be a wreck 
but he is very coarse in comparison to the wheat mirabel the true wheat mirabel we do also explains petulant another trick petulant often leaves the chocolate house rushes to home and disguises his appearance then returns to chocolate house again to ask the staff about petulant himself so in this way petulant wants to be popular wants to show him a man popular among other men and ladies even sometimes he himself writes a letter and leaves it to the chocolate house for petulant that means for himself so such a man who is crazy to be popular among all especially the ladies so that's a crazy of restoration age to be popular to be witty among the ladies in the next scene that is the last scene scene 9 of act 1 petulant himself enters into the stage so petulant is already present in another room of the chocolate house and now he enters into the room where witoot is talking with Mr Mirabel and Mr Fenner so he now orders Betty Betty is the bartender the bar girl who is attending Mirabel and Fenner to tell the ladies that petulant is not here even if the ladies cry and snivel for him so petulant here acts petulant here appears as a bold lover who does not care for these girls who admire him because petulant is unaware that mirabel and fenol is now aware about his trick he tells fenol and mirabel that these three women are his lovers and he is not more interested is no more interested in them and then jokingly he says that these three women is relatives of witoot they are milament and mrs fenal and lady wisfort so then mirabel jokingly tells him that he should not mix with milament because it is his object of love then petulant informs him that he must not be jealous of petulant because petulant is not the most desirable man for milament so when mirabel become curious to know more then petulant informs him that in the last night which was a cabal's night he was present at the meeting and he learned that mirabel's uncle will visit lady wisfort's house and lady wisfort is now thinking that uncle of mirabel as the husband of milament so that uncle of mirabel is the real threat for mirabel so actually this uncle is a false creation is a fictitious character created by mirabel himself as a bait to trap lady wisfort so he wants to know more he is very curious how good his plan is going so he requests petulant to inform him more about this matter he even accepts petulant demand that he will declare in the public that petulant is a witch so after that petulant tells him that even milament is agreed the match milament is agreed to accept mirabel's uncle 
as her husband. And Petulan also tells Mirabel that Lady Wishford is aware that Mirabel doesn't have a good relationship with his uncle and so she is very eager for the match because if a child will be produced out of this marriage that means Mirabel will be disinherited from his uncle's property and Lady Whisper thinks that that will be a proper revenge that she can take upon Mirabel because once Mirabel has betrayed her so now Mirabel realizes that his plan is working well then we too tells Mirabel that Mirabel doesn't consider Petulant as one of his competitor because Milament herself laughs at the courtship of Petulant and we would also declares that he himself is not interested in Mirabel because Mirabel is inconstant in her attention and he also mentions the how swiftly Milament is agreed to accept Mirabel's uncle as her husband. Then at the end of the scene, Mr. Fenon and Mirabel want to leave the chocolate house and they want to walk in the park. They do not invite Witwood or Petula, but Witwood invites himself to go with Mirabel and Fenon. So they tell Witwood and Petula that they are not interested to go with them because they are uh, very bad mannered with the ladies and they remarks very badly they remarks very openly that makes the women shameful so we should and petulant they think that the women are themselves guilty they know too much about the sex and so they become assumed so this view of we should and petulant shows that the poor condition of women that on the one hand they are deserved as an object of sex and at the same time they must be innocent of sex to be a proper object of desire so that is the condition of women so in the nine scenes of the first act Conrib has tried to build up the incidents that will lead to more complicated plot. So there are many hints about Mirabel's plot, but it will be clear in the latter acts. And in this act, he has made a contrast between the character of Fenel and Mirabel. Their attitude to women, their attitude to love, and their attitude to marriage. In the, at the same time, Congreve has points out the difference between the character of a country gentleman like Sir Wilful and the poppies city gentleman like Witwood and Petula. So that's all for today. In the next lesson, I shall discuss the summary of the act 2. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. If you have any problem, you can comment on this comment section. I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.